the third episode of our travel blog, we thought we'd show you how we get to language class each day. Do stay tuned. At the end, you'll get a chance to meet our wonderful teacher. We live in a second floor apartment, so our walk to school starts with going down the stairs and out of the front door onto the street. At this time of the morning, it's relatively cool and pleasant. The walk home in the early afternoon is somewhat less pleasant. We live in this solidly Turkish suburb of Istanbul, very few are foreigners or tourists. We cross this busy street. The traffic rules around zebra crossings are not quite what they are at home, and we have to be careful that the traffic has really stopped. We've previously shown you some street cats. There are also street dogs in Istanbul, and on this particular morning, one of them decided to follow us part of the way. This part of our walk takes us past some views over the ferry port and the sea, and is quite relaxing before we get into the much busier parts of town. This is a relatively new street with some swanky cafes and shops, but as in the rest of the world, there's graffiti everywhere. Here you see us coming into the train station. We ride the commuter train for five stops. We have a preloaded electronic card, a little like an Oyster card if you know London, and that's how we pay our fare. We generally wait three to ten minutes for the train. It's always busy, standing room only, sometimes difficult even to get on. On this morning, it was kind of average. There are 18 million people in Istanbul, and although we take exactly the same route at approximately the same time of day, we very rarely recognize the same face twice. Under this underpass, they sell t-shirts and trainers. And coming up, you'll see an example of recycling Istanbul style. These young men are paid to root through the garbage cans and fish out cardboard and plastic for recycling. If you want to buy a wedding dress, this is the street to do it. There's about 20 shops selling them. And here we are at Tomer, our language school. Our particular class is on the fourth floor, so it's up four flights of stairs. There is a lift, but hey, walking up the stairs is good exercise. We're in class from nine till one, Monday to Friday. The lessons are delivered entirely in Turkish. On this particular day, Songul is explaining to us how to construct participles. Ben uyurken, ne oldu? Kötü rüya oldu. Güzel. Uyurken kötü rüya oldu. Uyurken deprem oldu. 